Silver, and you guys seem to really like the TNT stuff I've been doing, so I'm back with TNT Cannons Episode 4. Dun dun dun! One sec. And I'm back. So sorry about that, guys. I had to take care of a couple things with my mom. So, you guys seem to really love it. I don't know why, neither do I. Well, that makes no sense. But we're back with another TNT cannon showcase i'm just gonna move a couple things around on my desk so i have some arm room okay yeah my desk is sort of becoming cluttered again we'll fix that later so as always let's grab our valuables and we're gonna be doing some stuff a little bit different today um we'll grab a wooden button i like the wooden button so i've taken it upon myself to look at a couple different cannons and see what i could come up with and then we'll try modifying them to the point of death. So this cannon's pretty simple. It's not going to build you a lot of rewards. We'll get a grass block to build up on. So you're going to want to build up a bit. Build out. And again, this is all faction based stuff. So, I mean, you can do this just for fun if you really like blowing stuff up. But past that. Okay, so we're going to want the TNT to sit here. We're going to want this to sit here, and this to sit here. We're going to need to come out one more layer at the very minimum. And there we go. Okay, so everything we need is essentially set up. And this one doesn't utilize as much uh, redstone. So... Here's the cannon. This is everything. You don't need anything else. I don't think there's anything else you could do to make this better. Besides adding, uh, if I would stop falling off, that might help. Okay, so we're just gonna press the button. See? It's not a long range cannon by any terms of the mean. You break that. Put that back there. And actually, you might even be able to do this. I don't know. See what happens. So, what this is essentially doing is just pushing the TNT forward. Nothing too complicated. In that time, it didn't go as far. And it might just constantly do that because of the uh, lack of blocks it has to work with. So, it's a pretty consistent cannon. And there's a couple ways you can modify this cannon. So, I've realized that you can go a total of, I believe, three before the cannon blows up on itself. And that's because, uh, I want to say, uh, slime blocks. So maybe if we break these underneath here, then we'll have a little bit better luck. Oh, I forgot to break that slime block. So do that. Do this. Line the TNT up in front of it. And we put the redstone down over it. And then we press the button and press it. And it launches three. The only downside is, is this comes forward. So I have no idea how to stop that. You, you gotta constantly replace those. But hey. I mean, you might be able to do something like this. And I haven't really fully experimented too much with it. So figuring this stuff out is not an easy task. Oh yeah, you can't do that because you need the redstone to go over this. So you can do this and that. But yeah, no. That's a basic, that is the base, most basic cannon I could think of. But then that got me thinking. Complicated cannon. Let's go. I'm just kidding. Actually, give me a second. I gotta... Oh yeah, it's capturing my monitor. That's weird. Okay. Well, I'll fix that later. I didn't realize it was capturing my monitor. Okay. 
back to that. So I got a cannon here that I'd like to try. So we're gonna get rid of everything we don't need right now. And look up iron blocks, iron, and what looks to be enchant tables. Enchant tables. So it looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a gate. Or another rack. Right? Yep, another rack gate. So we want. Ah, oh, perfect. So we want this to be eight blocks long. One, one. We want that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have this come out. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we want ten. So eight, nine, ten. Okay. And we want this to come out like this and like this. I have no idea why what this is doing. Okay. Next one is add another block here. And add this here and again this is a TNT cannon I've got off of the ether webs oh and we need a redstone torch okay and it says put it here and second thing says add TNT so let's add TNT and it looks like a leave a you dig down a block? I think you have to dig down a block. One second. Oh, oh. Cause there's water in there. But I don't get how the water works unless you do this and then do this. Right. We don't have any lapis or poopy to enchant with. Okay, and now we add in the water. I think it needs to be flowing. That would make the most sense to me. Right. Okay, and then it says add two TNT. Oh no, it's all gonna be still, because then you can't add it in and add in any water. Okay, so we get some still water. Add two here. And then fill in the rest. Is what it's showing. And that? Okay. And seven blocks of TNT and iron blocks and redstone. Hmm. Again, let me just check something. So if we have this, we have this. Close like this. Nope. This is an experiment before I continue. Does the water stay? No, it doesn't stay on top and it doesn't flow. So, that doesn't work. Okay. So, let's get rid of that and just go with what we currently have. Worst we can do is fail. And then step two is add, let's see, it says add seven blocks of TNT, so we're gonna wanna add all but three, so maybe we don't need that there yet. We're gonna wanna add, nope, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, okay. And we're going to want to add more iron blocks along this. So it says add it starting here. And working our way back. Actually, we do want that one there. I'm assuming we no longer need that there. Okay. So add time set day 
add iron blocks here like this. And you're going to want what looks to be a cross right here. And it says put a piston here. Would have been nice to know originally. And then I need to hit this block perfectly. We did. Oh, we need to go up one. Fine. There. We'll just leave those both there. And it says add redstone and a repeater. So we add a redstone there and a repeater here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. And then we need to add an iron there and redstone here into what I would assume this TNT block. And I'm just going to put it there because that seems like the safest bet. And then we're going to want to put it all along here. All right, yep, all the way to there. Do you want to raise that by one? It doesn't look like it. And then next, we're going to want to add another layer of TNT. So we're going to want to put even further blocks up now, probably here, and seems kind of productive, but okay, here. And you're going to want to add one here. Give me a sec, I'm trying to decode this picture as best as I can. While looking at it. It's right thus far. Okay. And we're going to want to add redstone here. Here, 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 and here. And then we're going to want to break the circuit like this. Show me. And we want to implement that repeater there. And this is an empty connect, so we're going to put a redstone block there. No, it actually is. Never mind. It's what shows on the picture. But we're going to want to put a redstone block here that's what it's showing TNT here that's everything it shows oh and they want us to add a button right here so <coughs> with this all said and done let's hope it works That was anticlimactic, I guess. I mean, we can do this. I don't think any of that really stayed. Well, I guess most of everything stayed intact. I mean, if we put an enchant table here, do that load this up and then do the same throughout down here again just throw that and see what this does and you might want to put a bit of 
picked away. Now. So let's rebuild that. Rebuild this. So let's see if we can fix this and salvage a project out of this yet. Okay, that. We'll put a one tick delay on everything. We're gonna wanna destroy that. So we put the iron blocks there. What was it? The redstone cord was here. Oh. What I meant to do. Okay, well, that didn't work out as well as I was hoping. So we're going to stop with that cannon. Because that didn't work out. Instead, we're going to just go and make a... We're going to make a simple cannon. Always dispenser. TNT, fence, water. Perfect. We can make lots of simple cannons like this. Because I always do well with these simple complex cannons. Grass dirt first. We'll give this cannon a very earthy feel. Boop, boop, boop. And then we'll want one more there. Why? Because I'm random. Beautifully. And then now if we do that, block that off. Put that there. Half slab. Actually we would just want to extend this one more anyway, so that works. Okay, we got everything we need. Almost. Does the redstone connect to that? No, I didn't think so. So we need to extend this platform by once more. <coughs> Do this tick delay by one. Not like that. So set all this tick delay stuff to one. One tick. Boop, boop, boop. Connect all this up. We're gonna wanna connect this over here. And you can even set this all up for the same thing. Um, boop, 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 boop. We need to come underground. See those right there? Those are our pistons. Or not our pistons, our dispensers. Hooray for science. Leave the tick delay on all of those the same. No delay. And we should be able to do this. Set this up going this way. Set this up going this way. One delay. And then we should be good. <coughs> so all of this, if we've done it right, shall work like this. Okay, this was too quick. Oh, it might help if we have actually another tick delay in there. Another three second delay. Darn it. Another three second delay should fix that. Slash time set day. Okay, now look at. There we go. That being all set up, there's only one less thing to test the TNT. And then that will finish up the video. 
So if you have liked the video thus far, sink your fangs into that subscribe button and wag your tail at the like for another TNT video. Because you guys seem to really love this, especially when I blow up a village. So one there, one there. One there, one there, one there, one there. Come over here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and then to finish this up, boop, boop. Boop. And need one more stack. Just in case this goes over wrong, we need to at least make it worth our while. But okay. Ladies and gentle pups. On your mark. Get set. Selfie. Selfie, 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 selfie. Okay, we're done. Like I was saying, on our mark, get set, go. Go. Boom. Hey, that actually didn't work too bad. Maybe one longer on the tick delay. Hmm. Maybe one less. Boop. Oh, that has some backfire now. But we're getting there. One thing we might be able to do for some of this is if we have a grass block, we might be able to stop the TNT from popping out and like shotgun it. So if we do this, you can completely hide your TNT cannon. And then what happens if we do this? Whoa. Only one got stuck up there, although I was very bad. Oh crap! <laughs> I would not want to be on the receiving end of this cannon. Okay, we're gonna do that. This cannon does not have a healthy relationship with its uh, controller. So now let's try this. Oh! Well, that's generally what happens with us. So, ladies and gentle pups. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like on that. Leave a like on this video. It seems that you guys extremely like this video, so I can't stop producing them. So that would be very wrong of me to do. So until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all later.